What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Adam James. In today's episode, we're gonna go over my top five most useful 3D prints of 2022. I've also got a bonus print for you, so be sure to stick around till the end because I think I've got something you think is pretty creative. Or I could offer you this uh, mystery box. And if you haven't already, please smash that like button below and comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification for future video updates. Be sure to follow us on social at beta development on TikTok and Instagram as well. And with all that being said, let's jump right on in. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Waldo. Uh, Waldo is the latest premium AirTag wallet on the market. Uh, it's actually a company that I founded myself. I've been running this for about the past year now, uh, and I'm fortunate enough to actually make uh, Men's Health Magazine as best premium AirTag wallet online last month. So I'm gonna use this opportunity as a shameless plug here uh, for my product. Uh, I wouldn't be promoting it if I didn't stand by it. It's super slim, under half an inch thick for an AirTag wallet, made of premium soft textured, genuine leather and a soft touch RFID blocking lining in the middle. Uh, feel free to grab yours on Amazon today. I will leave a link down in the description below. Now, all the designs we'll be going over today are available for free on Thingiverse.com, and I'll be giving shout outs to the designers, and the links will be available down below in the description if you want to download and print yourself. The cost of filament I'm using in this video is based off of the Amazon Basics ABS 3D printing filament at 2.85 millimeters. I personally used PLA in my examples, but this was the cheapest 3D printing filament I could find on Amazon. The total cost of that filament is $16.33, and with tax it comes out to $17.86. And when we divide that by a thousand for a thousand grams and one kilogram, it comes out to 1.7 cents per gram. For the purpose of this video, we're just gonna round up and say cost per gram of filament is two cents a gram. Hope that helps. So coming in at number five, we have the carabiner clip. Uh, this is made by Luvim Design. You can find them on uh, Thingiverse as well as Instagram. I will leave both of those links down below. Uh, this one's really cool in the fact that it's got this kind of mechanical clip mechanism and then a plastic thread design that you actually use to fasten it. Um, and then of course you can just hook this on uh, where you please. It's really cool because it's an innovative, kind of creative approach to what a spring, a classic spring mechanism would be in a traditional carabiner. Now, although you certainly don't wanna be using this for anything like climbing, especially if it's printed out of PLA, I'd recommend printing it out of like ABS or uh, polycarbonate and then using it maybe to hang like some plants or bring it camping or something to hang a lantern or something like that. So I found this STL file on thingiverse.com. It's a carabiner made by Luvum Design. You can find them on Instagram as well. It's got a bunch of different components. You can use a simple tool like a hammer to help put these into place. And then you just screw this knob on and it's all set to go. I used it as a way to hang my plant. Coming in at number four is the chip clip from Steven Wilson. Now I really like this one because it's so simplistic. We have this single part mechanism uh, and this is printed out of PLA and it just works. It really just works. It comes in, I only have two sizes here, but it comes in a small, medium and a large, depending on how big the, uh, the chip bag is that you're trying to clip. Uh, and I really like it. It's pretty useful. You keep it in your, uh, your drawers in your kitchen and, and you're all set to go. So, so this is a good one, highly recommend it, super functional. I do have to note that I did have to go across a uh, wide variety of different chip clip designs in order to find one that actually doesn't just break when you, um, you use this mechanism. So shout out to Steven Wilson, super cool design.
Coming in at number three is the headset holder. Now this one's pretty cool because it's actually designed by myself. Uh, I got some inspiration from a designer called Phantom Panda on Thingiverse.com. But then we added kind of this support beam here and lengthened this for my specific desk. It seems to actually work really well. All you're gonna do with this one is put your headset on right there. The table's gonna be right where my hand is. And then it's got one more uh, mechanism, which is kind of this plate that you use for clamping, and then you just screw it up and it clamps to your table. Simplistic in nature, uh, very functional. It's useful from a day to day. And then we've got this uh, area right here if you've got cords, if you're still using a, a wired headset that you can use uh, so it's not just dangling off of your desk. Coming in at number two is the toothpaste squeezer from Jacob Matula on Thingiverse. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think I would actually use this until I printed it out and actually used it on a day-to-day -day basis. It's got this locking uh, plastic mechanism on the inside of this uh, design that allows basically this tube to not roll back when there's pressure moving forward on the toothpaste tube itself. I specifically remember my girlfriend was like about to buy one on AliExpress <laughs> and then I'm like actually there's probably one on Thingiverse that we could 3D print and try it out and I'm gonna be honest I've used it for the past two months now and it's actually really functional and useful. I never thought I'd be saying a toothpaste squeezer was one of my top five most functional 3D prints but it does the job and it works surprisingly really well. Now, coming in at number one, we've got the docking station for, say, your AirPods and your Apple Watch. Now, this one I custom designed for myself, uh, and I think it's actually a fun project if you want to get into uh, product design or engineering to make one for yourself, depending on, say, what devices you have, whether or not that be like a Garmin, an Apple Watch, AirPods, um, or some Samsung uh, headphones. This one's really cool because it's used on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, you've got this snap fit feature and then all of a sudden your AirPods are charging. There's a lot of different files. I'll throw, I think my favorite one up, it's uh, by Ethan Golnick. It's a charging dock that actually includes one for your phone, your AirPods and your Apple Watch as well as some pens and pencils for your desk. It's really cool because you have all the cords already hopefully for all of your devices that you use on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's really cool to have an opportunity to make a plastic device which houses a docking station um, to snap all those into. Super creative design. I use it on a day-to-day -day basis and I'm actually surprised it didn't make uh, 2020's top five most useful 3D prints, but there you have it. And for those of you that stuck around, here's that bonus print you were looking for. Uh, this is a Rickroll guest Wi-Fi password plaque. And it's funny because I think when I posted this on Instagram, one of the top comments was, bro, could have used a 2D printer. I'm like, you know what? You probably could, but it wouldn't look as cool. Uh, you have the, the raised grooves for the QR code. It just, it wouldn't be as cool. Uh, I saw this on um, Thingiverse by Matt O'Neill. He did one very similar, but I kind of threw my own spin. I'll, I'll leave a link to my Thingiverse uh, STL file for you all to uh, print as well. And then I have a, a dual-headed extru extruder, so I was able to kind of take advantage of that uh, dual-color QR code kind of look. Super neat, and I'll throw up the Instagram short uh, video for you guys to reference as well. So whenever I have guests over, it's really nice to just like have the Wi-Fi password on hand. So I made this little QR code design uh, that we can mount to a wall and I'm gonna 3D print this, pop it off of the 3D printer bed, and as you walk up to it, you just scan it with your camera and all of a sudden you get approached with 
Again, all of these files are free and available for download on Thingiverse.com. And if you haven't already, please smash that like button, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Be sure to follow Beta Development on all social media platforms and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.